Hello physicists. Today we're going to have a look at what the SQA call the standard three marker. And this is a standard three mark calculation question that's common across all the levels of physics exams that the SQA set. Now, here's an example of a question. A student sets up the following circuit. The current displayed on the ammeter was found to be 1.5 amps and the potential difference displayed on the voltmeter was found to be 7.5 volts. Calculate the resistance of the resistor. Now, the absolute perfect answer would be that. You would get one mark for the formula, one mark for writing the working, and one mark for your final answer, complete with a unit. Three out of three, five ohms. Personally, I quite like this extra line of working, although the SQA discourage it. You get your one mark for the formula, your one mark for the working, and your one mark for the final answer, so you still get your three out of three. I just find writing that extra line of working to rearrange the formula at that point just keeps things straight in my head, and I know what I'm typing into my calculator. Here's a different way of writing it, and this is absolutely fine. We've rearranged the formula first, one mark. We've put the numbers into the formula, one mark, and we have got the correct answer, one mark. That's worth three marks too. There's a wee bit of a risk to doing this though. Rearranging the formula first, changing it from V equals IR, as it appears on the formula sheet, to R equals V divided by I, is a risky strategy, and I'll talk more about why that is later. Here's the same uh, bit of working, but this time we've got our mark for our formula, mark for our working, and we've got the correct answer, but we have missed out our units. In that case, we're missing units, we only get two out of three. This time, we've got the right formula, the right working and the right answer, but we've got the wrong units. Incorrect units, two out of three, same thing. Here, we've got the right answer, five ohms, correct. Actually, you get three out of three for this. I've always been of the opinion that the SQA should dock you at least one mark for being a lazy toad but I don't make the rules, so three out of three it is. That's also correct, three out of three. Although in the question, there is two significant figures on all of the data that were given, so our answer should technically be to two significant figures, you would get away with five ohms. Five on its own is a correct answer, but it's got no units. Missing units. Two out of three. Here we've got the right formula and we've got the right working, but somehow we've done something crazy and got the wrong answer. It's an arithmetical error. We've made a, a mistake with our maths. This isn't a maths exam. You've done the physics bit right, so you get two out of three for at least doing that. If I hadn't written down any working at all and wrote down the wrong answer? Wrong answer, no quoi. And that's why there's a bit of a risk about just writing down the answer on its own. If you've made a mistake, a silly mistake, typed in your calculator wrong, you get no marks if it's the wrong answer. Here, we've written down the right formula, but got the wrong answer. So we get the mark for the formula, one mark. Here, we've written down the formula, but then we've not written down an answer. Formula only, one mark. Here, we've got the right formula and the right working, but the wrong answer and no units. Okay, so we still get the mark for the formula and for the working, but not for the answer. Here, we've got the right formula, 
but we've got the wrong working. We've inserted the numbers incorrectly into the formula. The answer is correct, but the rule is we stop marking where the, where the mistake is. So here, the mistake is with the substitution. So even though we've got the right answer, we only get one mark, the formula mark only. This is kind of the same. One mark for the formula, wrong substitution. We've missed out the decimal point in the 7.5. Seems harsh, but that's the way it is. One out of three. Here, we've got the right answer. Goodness knows how, because we've written down the wrong formula and then done the wrong substitution and then somehow got the right answer. We stop marking where the mistake is. It's the wrong formula. No point. Even though we got the right answer. Harsh, maybe, but that's the way it is. Here, we've got the right formula and the right working, but we've done something crazy and got the wrong answer. Arithmetical error, two out of three. Here, the same wrong answer, probably for the same reason, but we wrote down the right formula, but then we made a mistake in rearranging it. That means we lose the mark where we made the mistake. Here, it was uh, at the rearranging stage, at the substitution, so we only get one out of three. So in the previous example, we got the same wrong answer, probably for the same reason, but because we didn't rearrange until the last step, we got two out of three. Where in this situation, we did the rearranging earlier and we made the mistake earlier, so we only get one out of three. It's a wee bit of a shame, but it's uh, the way it is. Now, Here's a slightly less standard four mark question. And these come up from time to time, and it was worth mentioning. A calculation like this, where you get four marks, is usually a standard three mark question with a wee bit added on. So if you ever see a calculation with a fourth mark, there's probably something more than just straightforward, put down a formula, put down your working, work out the answer. In this case, a light emitting diode is connected in this circuit and it's designed to function with a current of 10 milliamps and a voltage of 2 volts. We need to calculate the size of the resistor required in this circuit. So we're told the supply voltage is 6 volts, the voltage across the LED is 2 volts. So in order to work out the resistance of the resistor, the first thing that we have to do is work out the voltage across the resistor which in this case is going to be the 6 volts from the supply minus the 2 volts that is being used up across the LED, which leaves 4 volts. We get one mark for working out that. And then beyond that, it's a standard 3 mark question. One mark for the formula, one mark for the working, one mark for the answer. 4 out of 4. Perfect answer. Now, I've found in my experience that people either get four out of four for this question or they get one out of four. And they get one out of four because they do this. They forget to subtract the two volts from the six volts and they go with either six volts as the voltage or two volts as the voltage to put into the formula. So they get the mark for the formula, correct, but then they get the mark wrong for wrong substitution. Stop marking it wrong substitution, one out of four. Uh, here incidentally is the other option. You get one mark for doing the right subtraction sum, one mark for doing the right formula, one mark for doing the right working, but then you've done something silly, arithmetical error, three out of four. So I hope this was helpful. It just takes us through a number of different scenarios and why you might get certain marks and why it's probably best to always go with the procedure of 
answering in the way that you're told by your physics teacher, because it does guarantee you the most marks that you can. See you later.